Today I have no plans whatsoever, other than catching Pokemon. There's an event going on right now where you get... Basically, playing right now is more advantageous than normal. To simplify it for people that don't care about Pokemon. I don't really care either, but it's something to do. Not really sure where I'm going to end up. Just going to head out, got enough supplies with me for the day, and see where the day takes us. It's already 1 p.m., so... I've decided I'm going to try and do most of my filming today with this phone, but before I leave, I want to attach an I-ring to the back of it so it's easier to hold. This is the old school I-ring that I've had on several of my previous phones. So we're warming up the hot glue gun, and I think it should stick pretty well. It has this sort of a tire tread case on the back, so I think it should actually hold pretty well. Plus, I don't care how much glue spills onto this because, uh, you know, it's not... It can be ugly, is what I'm trying to say. I'm going to use this knife here to scratch off some of the uh, some of the non-skid coating. That way the uh, hot glue will have a much better chance of sticking to this. Alright, there we go. We've hot glued the thing on here. Uh, stick it in the freezer for a minute and let it cure. Alright, well, slight change of plans. I had ordered a lift and I was going to head downtown. But then it, they texted me and said it would be like a 30 minute wait. 40 minutes goes by and then I got a text saying the driver's there. I looked around a little bit, didn't see them anywhere. So instead of doing that stupid dance and having to call the dispatcher and wait for them to try and figure out where the driver is and all this stupid stuff, I decided to do something else. Some friends are over at the Commons catching Pokemon, which is what I wanted to do today. So I'm just gonna head over there, meet up with them and uh, We'll do downtown later, maybe tomorrow. Man, there's tons of tree branches and stuff down. I guess the wind yesterday really uh, took a toll on things. Well, that was fun. Hung out with some people over at the Commons, caught some Pokemon for about an hour or so. Now I'm gonna head downtown. Still got a few hours of daylight left. While I'm sitting here waiting for the lift, there was a fighting store here. So I went in to see how much a wrestling helmet would cost. They're like 80 bucks. I think I'm gonna find something more like maybe a roller derby helmet or like one of the horse riding ones, something like that. The thought is if I put on a helmet when I'm running around, I'll get in less trouble when I'm causing a ruckus. <laughs> Plus it'd just be funny with a group of friends. The lift should be here in 20 minutes maybe. trying to use a lift again. They can't use the tie down points in this van. It, they're too close together, they can't tie my chair down. So there's another van coming out now. This will be the third one today. I guess there's nothing further back. Usually there isn't, there. unfortunately, no. In this one, it's there and here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I know, I was just looking for a different spot because you said there. Yeah, no, normally these vans have more manic on Yes, they do, actually. Most of them do, you're right. No, so that, yeah, that's why the mounting does suck in this rig, yeah. because they are so close to each other. Unless you want me to see if there's somebody else close by. This is the only one that has the tie down like this. Call you or he on the radio or? Um, she should call me back. I turned the wrong way, so now we're waiting for him to loop back around. The driver went out to the street to flag him down. Probably went further too, because on our stupid navigation system, they're all wonky and it shows it up there further. Oh, so he's probably, probably going to end up turning around too. Okay. So this is fine. They're like, yeah. All right. Now the door's broken. Ugh. Awesome. And there we go. Finally made it down here. It was about a 10 minute drive and about six miles. 
but they charged me for 35 minutes and 17 miles, which is always nice. And just another side note, this particular driver that came out with this other van is the reason to get a letter on letterhead and carry it around with me to tell them how to tie down my chair. This is the guy that was arguing about it and it was kind of the last straw. He was a little more friendly today, but still, these people, I don't think they like their jobs. The plan was to come down here and do a range test. I've cycled these batteries about six times now. So hopefully the range is gonna be pretty close to uh, the maximum it'll be. We're gonna do some laps here around the east bank and the west side and uh, see what we get. Okay, I'm switching back to the better camera. That phone is too hard to push the buttons on. All right, well, the lower deck of the bridge is closed which means I can't do the loops I wanted to, which is actually fine. I can just run back and forth on this trail, get my mileage up. It's, uh, by the way, it doesn't really matter, just the same scenery. shop is bumping. This is peculiar. I'm trapped by this train because there's no way off of this crosswalk. So, to go around this crossing guard. After seven and a half miles, we're buried deep into the yellow zone on this thing. It's not looking good for these batteries. Pretty sure I've got enough battery to make it over here to Goodwill, so I'm gonna go over there, look around for a few minutes, and then get a ride back, I think. This thing's definitely slowing down. Nothing really useful at this Goodwill. I've gone 8.1 miles and this chair, well, the batteries are so low that I really should go on. So I'm gonna order a lift and see if we can get back. Well, I just got a text message saying they're 30 minutes away. Luckily, what I normally do is set a point that's a little ways away from me. That way it takes a few minutes to get there. And also it feels like I'm not sitting and waiting and staring at the wall because I'm actually on the move while I'm waiting.
How is it not working? Uh, it's been having trouble coming down. It goes up fine. Um, I'd rather not ride in it if it's not working. Is there another van around? Uh, there might be. Let me, uh, let me call this place. Yeah. And we're going to send another van out. Okay. And it's on its way right now, so... Okay, do they know how far? Like, five or ten minutes or something, or...? Uh, I can get a DTA. Yeah, yeah, get a, check and see if you can. I'm coming from Adventist. Okay. Which is over by Mall 205. But yeah, yeah. this hour, there's no traffic, so... Okay, cool. Ten minutes, maybe. All right. All right, thank you. It's the second time today they've had to call another van. <laughs> Sounds like you guys get uh, old equipment. Yeah, well, we come out of the east side. The west side, the west side gets all the branches. Yeah, that's what they said last time, the east side fan. <laughs> yeah. Uh, will you be okay here? Yeah, I'm good. All right. Have a good night. Yeah, you too. Today is the day of broken vans, apparently. The lift in this one won't deploy. He was going to operate it in manual mode, but I've been stuck in too many vans that don't work. And when you're operating it manually, it can drop really fast. And I do not want to take a quick trip to the ground. So he's calling yet another van. And uh, yeah, hang out and wait. That's going to be the loudest motorcycle stereo I've ever heard. Then when I finally decided that I needed a ride, I called another van. And the tie downs were screwed up in that one and they couldn't actually tie down my chair safely. So they had to send another van. That one showed up, he got me tied down, and then the side door wouldn't close. Finally, he just like leaned into it with his full body weight and got the thing to latch. Fast forward a few hours. Now I'm here trying to get a ride back. The lift on this van is broken. So they're sending out another one. Uh, apparently what the drivers are telling me is the vans that operate on the east side are usually crappy and broken. It's like, if we know that, why don't we fix them or do something else? It's just strange. Five or ten minutes has now turned into almost a half hour. They're babysitting me, though. That's funny. And I also just noticed he has one of his taillights out. Yeah, you might have to. He's going to back up just a little bit. I'm sure how long those back ones are, but let's do that show up. Yeah. First step or second step? Uh, whichever one they'll go into. I just want to get out of this van. <laughs> I've had five vans dispatched today to take two rides. It's the closest I've ever come to hitting a parked car in one of these, so I'm going to be reconsidering my uh, use of this, I think. <laughs> button's broken. Awesome. And this one right here just about ran into me. This has been a great day. I have the lights on in my chair, but I did not have that high-powered headlamp on. I start out across, some lady's pulling up to stop in the turn lane, and I stop because she's not looking at me. I will wait until they see me before I go in front of their car. Obviously, you know, safety. So I kind of wave my arms around and I yell, you know, hey, hey, and they're not looking, not looking. So other traffic starts coming and I'm stopped in the middle of one of the lanes. So at this point I'm like, okay, I got to get out of the road. So she was stopped. She was looking up the other direction, waiting for cars to come. So I went ahead and crossed in front of her. Right as I got in front of her, she started inching forward. I reached over and slapped her hood, scared the crap out of her, but she stopped. serious 
biggest mold problem here. Whenever it rains, even a little bit, everything floods. And after that happens a number of times, mold starts growing. Moral of the story, don't go anywhere without a really bright light. Because if I had had this, I would have been able to light up the entire inside of her car and they would have seen me. I mean, I left earlier a few hours before it got dark. I left here at like one. I didn't think I was gonna be out past dark, so I didn't grab this. But I think I just need to carry it with me in my chair anyways, all the time. Today is definitely one of those days that you kind of wish you'd stayed home. I, it's just been so many things going on. I, um, I got myself some Quidoba. I'm gonna catch up on my YouTube queue, watch some TV shows, and eat some dinner. And, uh, seriously consider ever leaving the house again. <laughs>